GeoPandas is a super useful library for geography, sure. But an important thing to know is that it's really like a glue that connects a lot of other libraries together. So the biggest one that GeoPandas sits on top of is Pandas, which is a data analysis library. Uh, GeoPandas basically adds geospatial abilities to Pandas. So Pandas is, it's cool. Um, it's like Excel, basically like a very cool Python Excel. But beyond Pandas, there are a ton of other libraries that GeoPandas sits on top of. So Pandas, data analysis. Now, why are we learning this? Well, you sometimes come across those other packages when reading documentation or when trying to understand concepts or code. So it's important that you know at least a little bit about them. And to be honest, the toughest part of GeoPandas isn't using GeoPandas, it's installing all of those other pieces. So let's take a quick tour. When people deal with geographic shapes and files, they use a lot of very specific software packages. Most of those tools aren't Python tools though, they live somewhere else on your computer. But since those other tools are so great, a lot of our Python libraries just plug right into them. So every time we look at a Python package, we'll probably also be talking about the non-Python software it's built on top of. They're usually the things that make installing GeoPandas so difficult. So first up, we have Shapely. Uh, Shapely is a library that deals with geometric shapes, points, polygons, things like that. Everything that's on a map is geometry. A country is a shape, a city is a point, and it's Shapely's job to take care of all of them. Shapely is built on software called Geos, which isn't connected to Python, but does all of the heavy lifting of geometric stuff for Shapely. Next up, we have Fiona. Uh, Fiona is a software package for reading and writing files. Uh, shape files, GeoJSON, any kind of geographic format you can think of, Fiona should be able to read and write it. Except for CSV files, which is kind of weird, but we'll figure that one out when we come to it. So in the same way that Shapely is built on top of Geos, Fiona is built on top of a software package called Ogre. It just reads and writes geographic files outside of Python. Next up, we have PyProj, uh, which deals with cartographic projections. So people measure the Earth in different ways, and when they want to point to a specific location on the Earth, they might use different kinds of coordinates. And it's PyProj's job to keep track of all of the different techniques. We'll go in depth about cartographic projections uh, and also things like coordinate systems, things like that later. PyProj is based on a piece of non-Python software called Proj4. So those are the major pieces of software that GeoPandas uses. But a few more are, for example, Descartes. Um, Descartes basically takes your data and then turns them into visualizations. It turns them into maps. It works hand in hand with matplotlib, which you might have heard of. Uh, it's a common Python visualization library. Next up, we have GeoPy which is a package for geocoding. So that means that it helps convert location names, uh, things like addresses, city names, states, things like that, uh, to latitude and longitude pairs so that you can map them. Next up, we have Rtree, uh, which is for spatial analysis, simple spatial analysis though. So it is for things like whether a point is inside of a polygon or whether a road goes through a neighborhood, things like that. Then we have PySAL, uh, which is a open source library of spatial analysis functions. So PySAL is different from Artry and then it's more advanced spatial analysis, really complicated stuff. But mostly what we're gonna use it for isn't that, um, it's for coloring maps. Um, oddly enough, when we want to pick
pick colors for maps kind of automatically, colors that make sense, colors that you know do one thing or another. PySAL is a very easy way to make that work. Finally, we have NumPy. NumPy is math library. It is more of a thing that Pandas uses and not GeoPandas, but it all comes together. GeoPandas will do a lot of computational work, a lot of adding, dividing, things like that. Uh, so it needs NumPy to help it out there. So we look at this big long list of a ton of different software packages and you might start to get intimidated. You might think, oh no, what am I doing? I'm gonna be scared about all these things that I have to learn. So this is a command, do not be scared. You are not allowed to be intimidated. You are not allowed to be scared. The point that there are about 10,000 different packages working together doesn't make GeoPandas difficult. It can make installing GeoPandas tough, but GeoPandas itself exists so we don't have to think about all of those separate libraries. We mostly just talk to GeoPandas and GeoPandas does all of the hard work for us. Knowing that these libraries exist though, and knowing what role they play in GeoPandas is really helpful. Because once we know about those packages, when we want to do something very specific in GeoPandas, maybe we'll reach down past GeoPandas and say, oh, I want to do something with this shape, with this polygon that's very, very specific. Let me just use Shapely. Or, oh, I want to open up this file first outside of GeoPandas and manipulate it in some way. And then you're going to end up using Fiona for that it just makes us a lot more powerful. Most of the time though, it's just us and GeoPandas. We're having a good time doing some spatial analysis, making some maps. But knowing about all of these definitely makes you a GeoPandas power user.